love Bob Cats. Hey, hey Bob Cats. I mean, I get it. It's going to be a pretty great episode. And just say, this episode didn't take two months. Today I'm here with Nevaeh and Liliana, and they'll be telling us just a little bit about their ASAP. So what is your ASAP? Volleyball. What? Why did you join? I love volleyball. Why did you join? Because I wanted to get better at volleyball. And what are you guys learning right now in volleyball? Currently, how to serve. What's your SAP? Um, my SAP is uh, retro gaming. How long have you been in this SAP um, for? For um, I think three or four months now. Now, why did you join your SAP? Um, I joined um, this SAP because um, me and my dad, well, he had an N64. Me and him used to use it all the time, um, playing Mario Kart 64, um, and. Um, as you should probably know, um, Mario Kart 64 is a retro game, so that is why I joined. Thanks. Hello, Bobby Cat. And to you too, Brayden. Hello. Hello, Chad. And it's still just Bobcats. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, whatever. Bobcats. Uh, do you guys want to see what's in the bag today? What's the bag of tricks? Uh, no. All right, perfect. Let me show you. Um, look at this. Mr. Gomez gave me this sweet pen. Pretty good. Pretty good pen. Um, oh, neat trick. 
Le learned this over the uh, throughout the winter, or actually when the uh, the kids were coming around doing like little elf stuff back in Christmas season. This carried on longer than Christmas though. Look at this. You take the hot, the mug, you put the hot chocolate in, which I don't have in my pack right now, but sometimes I have the thing of uh, hot chocolate right with me for comfort. And you put it in and you make it nice and hot, not too hot. You don't want to burn the palate. But then you put in some ganong chicken bones, not real chicken bones, like ganong chicken bones. And you put them in, not only does it create a beautiful cinnamon, cinnamon flavor, it snaps. Kind of like Rice Krispies, but they're not Rice Krispies, they're chicken bones. Really, really neat. And uh, let's see, you want to hang on to that for me? I, I used it a few times, but okay. just wipe my spit off there. I mean, it's kind of gelled on there now, but. And, uh, and this, I got some popcorn here, which reminds me. Great Chad joke. You ready for this? No. Want to hear a good joke? No. You want to consider hearing a good joke? No. I have really good jokes. All right, perfect. I got a good joke for you. Ready? What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? Gosh, I don't know, Chad. Where's popcorn? Get it? Popcorn? What? That's hilarious. That's a great Chad dad joke. That's the top level, top shelf, cream of the crop, exquisite type jokes. You can't find those jokes in books. They gotta come from somewhere deep and special. Somewhere right there. Bobby Cats. Hi Bobcats, today I'm here with... Dr. Matt Balcaris. And what is your job? I am a head of clinical research for a mental health company. Interesting. So, why did you pick that? I picked it because I uh, love helping people and there's a lot about our mental health and brain health that we don't know yet and so there's lots of opportunities to um, get better at uh, the services we provide for people. So, what education did you need? Like, what was the process to get here? So I have a PhD, uh, which means I have a, a, a doctorate and that I did in Toronto at a university called York and that took me four years. I have a master's degree, a master of science that I did at the University of Edinburgh, and I have a bachelor's degree before that. I did some other things. Altogether, I did 11 years of university. So would you like to tell us on like what parts of the brain you um, work on and like an example? Yeah, so uh, I, my PhD is in neuroscience, and uh, I studied learning and decision-making in the brain. Uh, there's still so much we don't know about how uh, human beings make decisions and learn things. So learning is often related to parts of the brain in, let's use this little guy here, way up in the front, so this is the, the, where the frontal lobe would be behind the skull, and the very front of the frontal lobe is called the prefrontal cortex, and that has a lot of important things to do with decision making. That would be like right up here, and then even right behind your eyes, you have an area called orbital frontal cortex, and all of those parts of the brain are involved in processing information uh, that's connected to things happening way up inside in the brain stem. So maybe simply put, when you learn something new, uh, your brain recognizes that it's new and that it has to update inside uh, information that is already stored about the world. And so it does this by sending a signal from the brain stem to these frontal areas. The cells that do that are use a chemical called dopamine. So these are dopaminergic cells, that's a big word. And they communicate to other cells in the frontal cortex saying, this is new, you need to learn something, something has changed. And so that's the part of the brain that I studied. So what is like a fact or something interesting about your job? A fact or something interesting about my job? Uh, unfortunately, there is a lot that we don't know about why some brains don't work very well, why people get sick, why certain diseases happen. But what's really interesting is that we're developing new technologies all the time to help people, including something called deep brain stimulation. So this is where we put uh, an electrode into someone's brain and then we leave it there. And it puts out tiny little bits of electricity at a very important place to help change the symptoms that somebody might have. Do you know who Michael J. Fox is? He's a famous actor, he's in Back to the Future. He has a disease called Parkinson's. So he actually has one of these inserted in his brain. He has a metal electrode that's in his brain all the time, and it helps eliminate uh, what's called dyskinesias or movement problems that happen with Parkinson's. The hospital I worked at in Toronto, Toronto Western Hospital, 
uh, does this surgery, and I work with people who had this surgery done. So that's kind of a cool fact. Do you know if this is uh, something you would do independently or with other people? This is something you have to do with other people. There's only a few hospitals in the world that do deep brain simulation uh, surgery, and uh, it's very hard to get into. Okay. Anything else? No. Hey, Bobcats. Today we heard Jason, and he's going to be telling us a little bit about his job. So, what's your job? I am an actual, our only full time firefighter. Oh, what kind of education did you need to be a firefighter or training? Training? I have my level one, level two, uh, pump operator, multiple courses. Our training is ongoing, we never stop training. Well, that sounds like a lot. Have you, how many fire stations have you worked at? Right now, we're working on a two. Which ones? There's us and Oak Bay. Or oh. under the Municipality Act. How come you chose to be a firefighter? I've been around it all my life. My grandfather was a fire chief. My father was a fire chief. My brother's also a driver. He's a firefighter. My sister-in-law is a firefighter. So I grew up in it, and I love it. No kidding. <laughs> That's it, Bobcats. Oh my god, did you hear about LaShonda? No, what? She was skipping class in the bathroom and then Jessica came in and saw her and now she's stuck in detention. Mm hmm. No way. And Jimmy ate pizza. What? He's lactose intolerant. I know all of this tea that's happening. Please be quiet in the library and please do not sit on the window ledges or on the tables. Ooh, this look looks now. Six kids, one shipwreck. Jeez. And Arctica Journey to the Pole. Oh my gosh, I have the same book. <laughs> you do Ugh. I don't want it anymore. Four divers, one treasure. This one looks good. Never mind. Oh, oh this pretty. is so much. I can't choose. Three hours later. Please do not take long. Yes, keep going. Okay, thanks for holding the door. 
Okay, Darius, what's your name? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> What's up, Ghostbusters? I'm gonna be a Ghostbuster when I grow up. Tori, you can't be a Ghostbuster when you grow up. You can be something else. No, I want to be a Ghostbuster. Yeah. We're here with these two psychopaths to tell you guys about people who have.